Okay, so I'm mainly going to focus on tips for your Facebook parties or online parties right now because that's the world that we're in right now. So, and I find that that's something that kind of baffles people more so, like in-home parties are pretty easy, right? You have a host, you show up with all of your things, and you just have really a lot of fun with it, right? Everyone has a little fashion show, maybe some drinks, and you just have fun. So I'm going to focus on more of the online stuff because that's our world right now. So the first thing I do is always reach out, right? And then um, I like to send them a, when a host says yes, I like to send them a checklist. I like them to know there's tons on the Zaya marketing uh, group that are amazing. Um, if you, you know, if you don't have one, um, just check on there. But what I like to do is I like to send them that and just make sure they're okay with what I'm asking because you don't want a host that is actually like, oh, you know what? I'm kind of nervous to tag my friends. I don't know if I really want to do that. And that's not going to really make for a successful party um, from my experience. So make sure your host is okay with what you're going to ask them to do, not just saying yes to the party without knowing your expectations. Another one is um, you can uh, find a great picture and change the picture in your party because that gets, you know, that, that increases, like it's that variety, right? They see something different, it pops to them. So great one was in April, I started with a welcome April one, and then I went to an Easter cover picture. And then like you could even go to a spring one from there. So I find variety and that is really good because it catches people's eye rather than always seeing the same thing. Um, <clears throat> uh, if you're low on RSVPs in a group, like say you have a host, they're really great, but maybe a bunch of people just don't join even though they've asked a ton of people. Um, I had one like that and it actually ended up being really successful because what I did was I offered a, a discount or an incentive if members in that group, there was only like six or seven at the beginning, but if they added people, I entered them into a separate draw um, for adding members to the party for my host. And uh, we did, uh, you know, a, a giveaway for that, or it could be whatever you're comfortable with. It could even be like a Starbucks card or something. It doesn't have to always be Zaya. And that's another tip um, is always, we love Zaya, but everyone else is still getting used to it, or maybe they've never heard of it. So having some, um, you know, variety with what you offer in your parties, I find also really helps. Um, and that was successful. It ended up having like over 30 people in it um, and it started with six. So that's always an option. Um, another thing is I don't flood my parties with posts. Um, I like to have a few that pop up and I like to try to be concise with it. Um, I also schedule my things the night before because I'm mom. We're all busy, especially with the added stuff that we've been uh, dealing with the last month. <laughs> So uh, I like to schedule my posts the night before, and then um, all I have to do really that next day is if I is go live, or if it's like Make Room Mondays or new releases, then that's all I really have to worry about. Other than that, I can just you know do like um, reply to engagement and things that happen from the posts I already have scheduled. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I like to start my parties on a Sunday or a Monday. Um, the reason I do that is because uh, I like to introduce kind of the basics of Zaya by the time a new release Wednesday hits. Um, I find that timing works really well because by then, if you've already shown like the light and tights and the sports bras and things like that on your lives for a couple of days um, prior, then people are already going to have their wish lists and they can always already feel your presence. They can tell you're a genuine person. You're just being yourself. And then from there, you're already building a rapport with them and you can let them know, um, from building that trust and loyalty with them in that group, the, like a couple of days prior that things do sell out quickly and that if they have anything they have their eye on, they should let you know right away when it hits the shop. So, um, that's that. And then um, I like to drop off a borrow bag uh, to my hosts if that's an option because seeing their friends that invited them to the party and not just me and like all of you gorgeous ladies that share on Zy Marketing that, you know, we're all okay with sharing each other's photos is so helpful. But if they can actually see the person that they know in the clothes, if they don't own any already, then that's a huge plus I find. Um, one other thing, I like to be really um, 
I like to time leverage, right? Because we're all busy. So if a post does well, like has a lot of engage, a lot of engagement, whether it's Zaya or non Zaya related, I save it. I save it to a Zaya Facebook party folder, whatever it might be on my phone, on my computer. I have them on both. <laughs> um, because that's time leverage, right? That's smart. Then you're not scrolling through going, what am I going to post today or what did well? Um, so I like to stay organized with that uh, a couple hours and you'd be able to organize yourself. Um, another thing, I always keep a successful party open. Um, I do them in groups, not events, because events end. Um, groups, you can remain open. And even if um, members leave the group, you can still leave it open because you created it. That's the other thing. I like to create the parties and invite my hosts so that I have control over when um, I close them. Um, I also have a bunch of opening posts that I always do. Uh, I have those saved. I have the wording saved. So I just input and, you know, just make customizations for that thing. And I even have the picture saved along with it. So if I'm going to talk about the RC line, right, our recycled materials line, I have all of those words saved for my post and I have the pictures. If a new picture comes that I like better, I save it in that folder that has to do with that post in my, on my computer I usually do because I find that easier to just copy and paste and make changes. Um, <clears throat> I like to remind my hosts um, to engage uh, if they aren't um, and tag people. I said I schedule the night before. I have a folder on my computer, I said. Uh, I leave successful parties open. And um, oh, if a customer makes a purchase, um, I always ask them if, I, if they will send me a picture of them in their new outfit or, um, you know, so then I will say like, this is a sale that I got from my VIP group or a loyal customer of your, or of mine. Um, I just wanted to share it with you guys to give you guys outfit inspiration or let you see um, how some people are, are pairing their Zaya pieces together. So doing that, um, I find always helps too, because then again, they're seeing people, everyday people who are not Zaya reps, wearing the clothing, loving the clothing and feeling confident in it enough to even send pictures and share that. Share that. So um, I think the only other thing maybe I didn't say is, but I think Jamie talked about it yesterday, um, but I have it written down. So in case, um, when someone makes a purchase, uh, make sure you do a collage or, uh, and thank them in the party because uh, I find that's good. So I go on the Zaya Marketing <laughs> What, uh, like Facebook group again, and I'll grab them in that person's size if possible, or even a picture of someone wearing those pieces in their size, because then they're seeing themselves. Like if someone's, um, you know, a size two, I'm not going to post 12 versus the opposite, right? Like I'm going to show people what the, that person will look like or similar to that um, body type in those clothes and how amazing they'll look and feel. So, and I always tag them and thank them. Um, because then people are like, oh, that person did that. So, um, sorry if I went fast. I talk fast when I'm nervous, but um, I think I went through everything that I had on my list here. 